Hi everybody, this is Asher Barber 9 and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to take a look at the Barbie Lux model number 19 from Wave 3. I actually was not um, expecting her today, actually. Um, I was uh, thinking it, uh, that she'd be here for another week or something. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that uh, for a change, uh, one of my packages are early. Because <laughs> really, um, they're almost never early. Also, by the way, I just got back from a photo shoot. So uh, here's all of them right now. <laughs> They basically have come to greet the uh, the new arrival, their uh, sister, so to speak. <laughs> I really love them all together. Like they are so colorful and everything. I just love the whole uh, color blocking uh, theme going on here. I'm really really excited about this doll, though. Like I already love this entire line anyway, but. At this doll like she is something special like i have so much to talk about this doll like wow and i think uh, she might be one of my favorites here but uh yeah we'll see as we go on with the review and i also really really love like the packaging on this doll it's pretty much the same as uh, the regular looks and packaging just slightly bigger to house the uh, extra outfit and uh, I do love um, this new cardboard material that they're using recently uh, this is also the same type of cardboard that's on the uh, other uh, wave 3 look dolls as well as the uh, 55th anniversary Christie doll and the uh, Guo Pei Lunar New Year Barbie doll. Well, anyway, enough chit chat. I will be opening this girl uh, right now. So uh, I'll be right back. So here she is, out of the box. Model number 19 from Barbie Looks, Wave 3. I honestly just really, really love this doll. I really love her overall design. And the colors. There are some outfit pieces and accessories that I'm not quite a fan of though. Like, I don't really like the pants, for example. And I've definitely seen this purse before. Um, I, uh, I have this on the, uh, the 40th anniversary Black Barbie doll. You know, she had that purse. And I've seen this pair of sunglasses before several times as well. But still, anyway, uh, she's a cute doll. Like, she's really, really pretty. And I love her overall vibe. And I do love the colors that they used on her. Like, she is so glam. <laughs> I love her so much. Not gonna lie, she's also, like, giving me, like, uh, Raquel vibes. You know, Raquel from Barbie Life in the Dream House. Like, yeah, like... And it's not just, uh, the version from Life in the Dream House. She also reminds me of Raquel from before Life in the Dream House. Uh, before Life in the Dream House, uh, Raquel was uh, a white girl with blue eyes. And she kind of reminds me of that as well. And we've never really had a collector version of Raquel, so I kind of want to, um, like, assume that she's Raquel, you know? I can just pretend she is. <laughs> Another reason why she reminds me so much of Raquel is that um, she has, like, so much drama about her. Like, I mean, come on, I mean, look at her, like... Can you not tell that this girl is a diva or anything? <laughs> like, she honestly does uh, remind me of Raquel from the late 2000s. Especially the Raquel dolls from the late 2000s. And, uh, yeah. She's very pretty. And, yeah, back then, uh, Raquel also had bangs at the time. And I just really, really love her face. Like, oh, gosh, she is so like chiseled and model-esque 
For those who don't know, this is the Lena face sculpt. It's the same as model number one from Barbie Looks Wave 1. And uh, she is stunning here. Like, ugh. Uh, this is one of the very first uh, light skinned Lena dolls. So, uh, yeah. She's very versatile. Like, I can see this character as an Asian character or like a mixed race Asian or you know just a white girl <laughs> but uh, yeah anyway she's stunning I also really love the makeup by the way like, I love the purple eyes and this uh, cranberry red lips and the purple eyes like oh my gosh like like that is stunning also, I've never had a Barbie with purple eyes before. Hmm. It's a, I mean, it's not a normal eye color, but it really suits her. I, I think it, uh, it goes well with the entire look. And I do actually have the original Lena here with me. And uh, yeah, like, she's stunning. Like, uh, she's actually my favorite from wave one. This girl is everything to me. And, uh, yeah. I mean, they're both pretty alike. Like, they could be sisters, I think. <laughs> Just with a different coloring. But, uh, yeah. Personally, I think I prefer this Lena more. Because I just think, like, she's prettier and more well-styled than she is. But still, like, she's still a strong doll as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Also worth noting, by the way, that she is in the tall body. And just so you know, um, this is my favorite bar Barbie body type. I just love like the way it looks. Like I love the uh, extra height, but I also love like the proportions and everything. Um, she is a little bit thicker on the waist compared to um the original body, but eh, I don't care. Yeah. I personally just love this Barbie body type. It is my favorite, by the way, uh, for uh, the female Barbies. And I really, really, really love this um, bodysuit that she has. Personally, I like it better without the pants or the skirt. Like, on its own, it's, it's kind of a look. <laughs> Like, I genuinely enjoy it on her. Like, she looks so pretty on it. I mean, this could be a swimsuit or something, but yeah. And I also re really, really love, like, the color on it. Like, this magenta plum color. Ugh, it's so luscious looking. It really looks good on her. And I also really, really love the shoes. Like, this is a new shoe mold, I believe. I mean, I've actually never seen it before, at the very least. So, yeah. Oh, also worth noting, by the way, I did paint her nails. So, uh, if you're thinking, um, Mattel did a bad job with the nail job, um, that's me. <laughs> that's me and my <laughs> stupid little, um, manicures. They're always a bit crooked. <laughs> And here she is with the pencil skirt on. Personally, I like the skirt on her more uh, than the pants that she came with. Personally, I think it's a cuter look overall. Yeah, I just I just really don't like those pants like at all. I know they're kind of trendy right now, but I know I I just don't like those. Yeah. The yellow pants and uh, the bodysuit are kind of giving me a <laughs> Draculaura vibes because <laughs> it's pink and yellow and she has jet, jet black hair. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. And here she is in her second outfit. I really, really prefer this outfit over um, the one that she had inside the box. It's a really, really nice design. Like, I'm always, like, a fan of halter tops. 
and I love the pencil skirt combo as well. And I really, really love this shade of yellow here. I think it goes well with all of her accessories, such as the shoes, the golden bracelets, the sunglasses, as well as her makeup. It really goes well with the yellow. It makes it pop. But yeah, I really, really love this outfit. Just, oh gosh, she is so chic. But still so simple and it still has that like a uh, Barbie looks uh, flair with the minimalism and stuff. It's just like a really stunning outfit in my opinion. <laughs> and here she is in the pants that she came with. Um, personally, I still hate it. I still hate the pants, but. This is a much better look than um, the one uh, from outside the box, I think. Uh, yeah. I like this better than the uh, pink bodysuit with the pants. I prefer the bodysuit actually without the pants. <laughs> At least though, I do love the material used on the pants. Um, it's very similar to the satin top on the top. Yeah, it actually does feel nice, honestly. Mm. Oh, and here is a close-up of the uh, little bag. I also love the accessories on this doll. She has uh, three bracelets. Um, I currently have two on her. Oh yeah, and these shoes. Uh, these are the same shoes from the... Uh, Barbie looks number 12 doll, uh, the curvy one, yeah. So that is it for my review of model number 19, the Mattel Creations exclusive doll from Barbie looks wave 3. So uh, yeah, what do you think guys think of her? Um, you like her? You hate her? Will you be avoiding her like the plague? <laughs> Sound off in the comments below. And as always, um, I just want to thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.